So, what exactly do you want to talk to everyone about? This case goes deeper than you think. The town folk may have heard about the murder, but they don't understand it. It's a very dangerous situation, and I need to warn them properly. I hope most of them are decent enough to come. No problem there. Emily has made all the arrangements. I've told everyone to gather around between 1500 and 1700. Great. Reminds me of a film I saw recently. The town is under attack by aliens, and so the mayor calls all citizens to the town hall to warn them. Now, overseeing this, the aliens attack the hall and wipe them all out together. Is that relevant, Agent York? The way they kill is fantastic. They used a combination of balloons and meat sauce for exploding heads. Those aliens start firing their death rays, and heads start popping. Flat. Really, quite something. Agent York, some of us are trying to eat here. I know, Emily, I'm one of them. Well, anyway, your cooking is the best, Thomas. Thank you. No, no problem. Wish you weren't so damn awkward, bud. Just wish you weren't so damn awkward. Wait, wait, wait. Where did George go? Dang it. I needed to talk to George. George, where are you? Is that like... Whoa, I made it 1300. It was like 9 o'clock. Mm. I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that at all. So, one moment. Yeah, it was like 9 o'clock. You tell me they sat there and just talked for four hours? I don't think so. Well, we need to talk to George. <coughs> the hell? George, do you work out every day? Uh, of course, Agent Morgan. Exercise keeps me healthy. I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Now, that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. But I can't do my full routine today. Without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will ya? Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. I don't... I don't... I don't like the way he names Arnold and Sylvester, eh? Well, guess what? We have him. So, uh, I need to talk to you again. Hello? No, I don't want to talk to you. Not right now, please. I want to talk to George. Yes, I want to give you this. George, I found Arnold. Really? He was a bit hard-headed, but I got him to come back. Huh? Oh, <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Here's a little something to show you my appreciation. Hey, what's that? Oh, he's uh, Arnold on Sylvester. So that makes us even. Yeah, that's terrible. I don't owe you but... anything, and you don't owe me anything. No changes to how we work together. Just bear that in mind. All right, D-bag. I understand. Zack, he needs some friends who aren't so dumb. Nah, ah, I get it. I get it. And we should be able to talk to George. No, wait, no, no. Wait, can we talk mm -hmm. to George again? Hmm. We're supposed to get another quest from George unless we can't. Yet, I wonder if Emily. Hi. Uh huh. Beautiful nature, friendly. It's a good old America. America. Heck yeah. Yeah, I know, but I can I can I get. Can I get your side quest, please? Hi. 
That sounded weird, that pop. What? Why are we talking about paper? Why? What are we talking about? Do the digital. However, there's a fatal flaw to this. It's what I like to call the loss of overview. Um. No. No. Yeah. Hey, York. I got a good idea for you. Shut up with your opinions. Huh. Uh, oh boy. Oh gosh, we can keep talking to her about things. I, and she has pops when she talks. Oh. Okay, can't talk to her anymore. Alright, so... I don't want to eat. Because... Yeah, I'm, not, I'm really not that far down on anything. So I don't really want to eat and waste the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Head out of here... And look around town if there's any more little things we can do while we're waiting for the th whatever hundred. And, if, and then I'll come back and eat lunch or whatever if there's not. So let's take a look around. A human bone? This doesn't look related to the case, but... Shouldn't I let someone know? Uh, woof. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> hey, you, you calm your ass down. So, in wasting time, if you look at the map, let's see if I can find any more. I've been running around a little bit, off and on. You will see markers that look like bones. And you can collect those markers, and those markers... I think there's an eventual side quest to collect them all. And I've, I don't know if I, if I can see how many I have so far. Let me see. Uh... Oh yeah, you do! I've, I've gotten... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I've gotten... Five of them out of I don't know how many. Oh, also I picked up one of the flowers when it was raining. So I've got one of those. And I've just been wandering around. Because apparently it was raining earlier. And apparently because it was raining before, nobody wants to leave their house now that it's not raining. So I'm kind of either I just got to make time go by or I just need to look around and collect things and stuff. So I'm doing just a little bit of collecting, looking around. And uh, if something pops up that's interesting, I will uh, show you. Oh, no, get back here. We need to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Mm. Asha, something on your mind? Oh, Agent. Just the person I wanted to see. I take it this isn't a chess problem. Is it something a little more serious? Oh yeah, it's serious. I just can't figure it out. Now you've snagged my interest. Tell me more then. Mm, it's a question... Well, it's more like a riddle that Fiona gave me. Now, you might want to write this down. It's a little long. A.G. Silver. N.A. Sodium. G.E. Germanium. E.R. Erbium. L I lithium K R krypton I R iridium S B antimony S E selenium E U europium and S R strontium The elements love you doctor What are these elements from the periodic table Oh that's right I just, I thought it was some chemistry problem, but that doesn't seem to be it at all. Please, if, if you can figure it out, you let me know, okay? Okay, Usher. I'll give it a shot. You let me know as soon as you figure it out. What? <laughs> what? What? The, what? The, the, what? Huh? Alright, well, 
Does it show that in my list? No. Damn it. Uh, I guess I got I gotta write that crap down. I didn't want to, but no, all right. Well, um, okay, no, yeah, okay. What the hell did I just drop? Oh, doesn't matter. All right. Uh, can you give me those things again, please? Mm, it's a question. Well. It's more like a riddle that Fiona gave me. Now, you might want to write this down. It's a little long. Oh, geez, here we go. Silver, N-A, sodium, G-E, germanium, E-R, erbium, L-I, lithium, K-R, krypton, I-R, iridium, S-B, antimony, S-E, selenium, E-U, europium, and SR strontium. The elements love you, Doctor. Oh jeez, I can already see what it is. <laughs> you read you read the event letters vertically and it reads Angel Kisses. <sighs> it's a little weird, Fiona. You're a little you're a little weird. You're a little weird. Okay, now, read the first letters vertically down. Angel kisses? You still don't understand? Uh, of course. Angel kisses is freckles. The answer's Fiona. In other words, Fiona is in love with you. Oh. Uh, I, uh, I see. It's a very cute <laughs> love letter. Those who have the courage to love have the courage to face rejection. And she is a brave one. Don't you think that's wonderful? Uh, you know, just between you and me, she's been sending me signals like this for over a year. Then why don't you respond? Is there something else you're interested in? No, no there's no one else. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't dislike Fiona. I just... I don't know what to do. Usha, don't tell me you've... Yeah, that's right. I've never had a girlfriend before. Please, now, don't tell a soul. Promise. I won't do your autopsy if you tell. Wait, what? Usha, that's a fresh what? new way of saying something horrible. Okay. Anyway, thank you for figuring this one out for me. Now, I'll handle the rest. Let me give you this to thank you. Please don't let it be an angel kiss. Oh, it's potato chips. Usha Thanks, eats Usha. Pringles. This will help me keep it zipped, all right? Agent? Now, nah, don't. Just kidding, Usha. Your secret dies with me. Hopefully in many years' time. Yay! Um, right. So, we finished that. I think that's the only other quest in here. We don't have keys, so... Yeah, so I'm gonna get out of here and see what else I can find. Just dinking around. So this, this is interesting. I found a thing. I can hit this. Wait, what? Now I went, let me go through, what? No, 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 we have to go look at this again. Look at this! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what am I hitting? <laughs> okay, I was just gonna come over here. Right over, where is it? I was gonna come over right here. And travel this little path right here, because there's a uh, there's another bone that I was gonna go and grab, <laughs> and then I uh, smacked that little part right there and just flew everywhere. <laughs> All right, bone, where are you? There you are, somewhere. Let's find you real quick. <laughs> uh, 
Um, oh, there it is. Uh, come on, give me aim. We found the skull! The skull, ooh, and that <laughs> frame rate's so bad. A human bone. Yeah, he's just gonna say the same this thing over again. Related to the case, but shouldn't I let someone? Yeah, you should let someone know, York. And now I have no idea where I'm gonna go from here. Cause is there another one somewhere that I can just drive over and grab? Nope. There's a fishing spot, and there's the lumber mill. We're, we'll be on the other side of the lumber mill, and I don't, I don't want to be there. So. Let's drive. Actually, if I wanted to, I can go see if Forest Guy Jim had anything interesting. There's some more stuff over here that we can supposedly get. Oh, I'll find something. I'll be right back. Well, the gas station's finally open, so I figured I would get more information from Jack, even though it's 200 bucks. And the first little tip we got was from, you know, the whole dart game thing, so... Yay. Benjamin, my good buddy! Listen up. I got something new to tell ya. Have you seen the journal scrap PPM I could do real fast? Blah, 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 blah. When I see ya again. <laughs> so basically, he was talking about the junkyard. Oh, hey. Well, we make at least a hundred of that back. And now the next place I want to go is to the milk barn because it's finally open. Oh, yeah, I stayed at the. Uh, not stayed. I, I ate lunch because apparently no one comes out and does anything until one o'clock in the frickin' afternoon. Hmm? Oh, he has nothing to say no, still. Nothing. Just my imagination. So we're gonna go to the milk barn, and we're, we're gonna get a, apparently Lily has another quest for us. At least that's what it showed on on the map. So we're gonna go see what that is real quick. And I need to buy some stuff anyway. Which means I'm probably going to go ahead and use it now. Because I need to get my tiredness back down, so... There we go. We're going to buy some more, uh... Coffee. Cafe. Alright, Lily. Ingram. Tell me what you got. Tell me what you got, what you really, really got. I want to know what you got, what you really, really got. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hi there. Oh, uh, here we go. Hi, Agent York. Do you have a moment or two? Well, maybe just one if you need something. What's up? Actually, I've got another favor to ask you. What kind of favor? We don't have room in our storage for the new shipments that came in oh, today. Oh, no, not again. I know you just tidied it up, but... I was wondering if you could help again. Of course I'll reward you again. This time with our silver card. How is this different from the last one? 20%? You get a bigger discount than the bronze card. That means even more savings. I see. That sounds like a fair deal. What do you think, Zach? Zach thinks let's do it! Thank you, hun. The storage room is this way. No problem, sweet cheeks. Uh, is there three or is there two? What's going on here? What's going on here? Yeah. All right, so that needs to get pushed down. That okay. All right, so over here needs to get pushed down one <coughs> to right there, so we can go over here and push. They need to. They need to be able to see. I can't see. Where's the two things? So there's one there, and one there. So 
I actually, actually need to push. Hmm. Hmm. Need to push this one. Not. I can't push this one down. Cause I, I can push it. Oh, I can push it up and then over. And I can push that other one up. Okay. I am smirt. Yes, I think I'm smirt. Yeah, push this one over. Sit on the. I can't. Okay, it's in the corner. <laughs> oh boy. Never mind. I didn't think this through. I didn't think it through. No. No. Oh, I can just push this one down. Oh, there's three. Gotcha. Alright, well, I screwdoodled that. So, uh. Yeah, I screwed all that. Oh, I can look at it from here. Yeah. Reset the boxes real quick, please. And now I can do this. So that bottom one's already one on there. I can push that up. I can push that down. That. Oh, nope, that can't go over. Yes, it can. So I push th that one up, that one over. And then... That one down. Okay. So I need to move... Okay. Oh, I can't. I'll just reset the boxes again. I have an idea of what I need to do. I need to push this up one. And now I need to push this down one. And then this needs to go over. This needs to go... Yes, right? Yes. 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 This needs to go here. This needs to go... Now this can go in the corner. Correct. 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 Now... This... Okay. This is gonna go... Up to... And then this is gonna go down one, and then over. Win! Good work, Agent York. Thank you. I knew I could count on you. Oh, it wasn't that difficult. We were taught in school that the police are there to help the people. It turns out they were right. Here's your reward then. I'll exchange your bronze card for a silver card. <laughs> there aren't that many people in this town that have one of those. It's a pretty rare item to have. So it's a real treasure. I'll be sure to keep it safe then. I mean, I'm sure it's because people don't you sit... You should use oh, it to buy a talking. gift for that special someone. We'll give you a big discount. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone to give such a gift to. <laughs> really? Come on. Well, anyway, be sure to come by again. Ba -ba -ba. I'm pretty sure they're rare because you don't have people that want to come over and do all your work for you. Hi there. Uh, Chuck... Well, well, I mean, they saw a dead body, so, I mean, you know, 
Sure, I'll go ch chit chat with your kids. But now I want to go. Where's. Uh, Keith. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why they keep talking about me? Oh, it's because I'm awesome. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to be your babysitter? I don't, I don't want to be in your heart at all. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to. Hey, bro. We can talk some more. I don't want to. Oh. I get, he said talk was another option again. Do I get more money for it? Okay. Hey, bro. I want to buy a couple things. The, the, the hell is that? That's a spiritual map of what? For fourteen hundred? All I wanted to do was buy some coffee, man. Hopefully, that gave me three and not just one. Fourteen hundred is that worth? I guess we'll find out. May as well buy it. It's not like it's gonna need money or anything. I'm gonna need money. Sure. Hey man, the spot on the map is called Cope's Tunnel. It's one of a couple of places in town where like, spooky stuff happens. I'll tell you a story, okay man? But uh, don't go spreading it around. Oh. <laughs> Spirits, they don't like publicity. What? Back when this place was a lumber kingdom, you know, the <laughs> rockin' so 80s, funny. that tunnel was the main connection from the lumber yard to this town. Every day, huge trailers would like come in and out. Lots of traffic, dude. Of course, some people were like all up in arms. Save our nature, stop pollution, you know. Big business was pushing in here from all over the US of A. Everyone was bickering over the forest. So some of the town people got even more worked up, you know? They started a protest inside the tunnel itself. I guess maybe that was the start of all the... bad times. Bad times. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Rough stuff and heavy times, man. The conservationists and the lumber workers faced off with each other. Neither side was backing down, and that made things worse. Amid all this chaos, there was a man and a woman who got engaged. Problem was that the man was a lumberjack and the woman, she was a tree hugger. They rarely ever fought, but then one morning they had a lover's quarrel. People think that her love of nature clashed with his profession, but we'll never know what they really were fighting about that morning. The man shouted, he called her an idiot, and then he stormed out and went to work. If only he had known, that would be the last word he would ever say to her. When he finished his work for the day, he got in his car and drove home. When he got to the tunnel, he saw lantern lights glowing faintly. Those fools, not again. He just thought they were protesting in the tunnel again. And to scare them a little, he decided to speed up. He probably thought they'd all scatter so he wouldn't hit them. But the lights didn't move. In fact, one came toward him. A second later, there was a thud and the lantern flew up into the air. Slammed on his brakes, too late of course. Then, totally freaked, climbed out to see what had happened. I don't need to tell you who he hit, do I? What's more, in her mangled hand, there was a letter to the head of the lumber mill. A peaceful settlement offer. The woman had no other relatives other than the man, and the lumber mill took no responsibility for the accident. It was going out of business anyways. What happened to the man then? No one saw him again. Some say he killed himself or simply just vanished. You know, he might still be in the tunnel, weeping over his lost love. So now some folks say there's a ghost of a young man that haunts the tunnel. I told you it was called Cope's Tunnel, right? Well, check this out. Some people call it Corpse Tunnel now. You better be careful, Mr. FBI. If you go down there by yourself, 
<laughs> Longest boring ghost story ever. So I guess we gotta go find Cope's Tunnel, which, uh, oh, I meant to hit B, not A. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna go to... Go to Cope's Tunnel and check it out? Question mark? $1,400 not well spent. Thanks a lot, bro. So when we come back, uh... We'll check that out while we still got a little bit of time. I'm going to buy some more things from Miss Ingram here. And then we'll uh, head on out. So till then, you all take care. And of course, have a good one.